you're probably thinking to yourself, Dave, there's, there's no way that the things you can do in uniform are weirder than those you can't, because you're not allowed to like... Some of the things you can do in a Marine Corps uniform are even weirder than those that are frowned upon. Let's dig in. Now I know what you're thinking. If you watched the video that's kind of taken off over the last couple of weeks, which ironically I filmed a year ago, about five things you cannot do in a Marine Corps uniform, then you're probably thinking to yourself, Dave, there's, there's no way that the things you can do in uniform are weirder than those you can't, because you're not allowed to like drink water while you walk or hold hands with somebody, or put your hands in your pockets, or any of that crap. Which is all kind of strange to people who aren't on the inside and understand the club. But I'm here to tell you that some of the things you can do in uniform are, in fact, a little weirder. Now, you gotta take it into context, right? Some of this might not even seem weird to you because you're just indoctrinated by oorah, semper fidelis, and all that other good stuff. But I digress. We're gonna start off with number five, which is look really damn good in uniform. And I know this one's just kind of an ego thing, but like, let's be real. Everybody knows that the Marine Corps dress blues are the sexiest dress uniform in the military. Everybody loves them. There's a reason they call them panty droppers. Sorry, YouTube gods and algorithm gods. That's probably gonna get me hated, hosed, demonetized, all the other stuff. So to make up for that, you should click the little like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do, and I'm gonna help make you some money because the real channel, that's what we do and I'll dig into that later. But look really damn good in uniform. Marines are just known for looking freaking good. So you can do that, but the rest of these are gonna get a lot better. You can smoke in uniform. Now, I know in the previous video, I believe we talked about not smoking and walking, but you can in fact smoke. You can go out of the smoke pit, you can have a cigarette, you can smoke in uniform. So you can't drink water while you're walking, but you can smoke a cigarette. Number three on the list, get a little bit weirder. Nah, this one's not that bad, but you can drink in a Marine Corps uniform, in fact. For those of you who aren't in, the Marine Corps was founded in a tavern, Tun Tavern. And we have a history of drinking to celebrate that, because, you know, I mean, if you're founded in a tavern, it, it would be disrespectful not to drink, especially in uniform. So if you've ever been to a Marine Corps ball, we drink too much. It's a great time. You should come. I've actually seen a Marine punch a sergeant major in the face. I've seen sergeants major doing break dance moves on the dance floor. I've seen all kinds of interesting things at the Marine Corps ball and uh, it's a good time. I've actually narrated Marine Corps ball before. That being said, you still can't drink alcohol and walk, and you can't, you're not, well, you're not supposed to drink excessively, right? Don't make of yourself. But, I mean, we even, we have, you know, enlisted clubs, staff and CO clubs, and officer clubs on almost every installation where you can go to the bar and drink. There are units that have bars in their meeting areas. We absolutely believe in drinking responsibly while in uniform. All right, we're getting a little better. Number two, carry a fucking sword and or swagger stick, knives, whatever, tools. As long as it's not, if it's day, daily use, you can carry a knife, a fucking K-bar, you know, multi-tools like these guys. I got this actually issued to me while I was in the Marine Corps. You can carry all kinds of good stuff, provided that it's, you know, covered up by your blouse so it's not just hanging off your tool belt or your, your McMap belt, your martial arts belt, whatever, your web belt if you've never done martial arts or you got in trouble, I guess, at this point. And so you can carry all that stuff. But what I meant by sword or swagger stick, now normally I have I have an actual swagger stick and I wonder if it's in here. Motherfucking yeah! I looked for this before the video and then it just clicked that it might be in there. So this is a freaking swagger stick. You've never seen one before. I got this as Sergeant David Perret. I don't know if you can make out the words on this thing, but it says Sergeant David Perret. And you wear, you carry a swagger stick around like this. Actually, it would be in your left hand and you would carry it around. And this thing comes from way back in the day. In fact, pretty sure they used to swagger stick, but you can carry this thing around in uniform. Nobody really has these anymore. I got this given to me as a Sergeant on recruiting duty for, I believe that was for Rookie Recruiter of the Quarter or the Month or something. I don't know. I got a lot of bunch of random awards on recruiting, so, you know, who knows? There's my humble brag. Nobody cares about recruiting. Number one. All right. Oh, and I didn't even get... Hang on. 
Yeah, that's right. I'm not even gonna have my video editor change that to into something cool. That's me. The sword. We've got the officers have a sword, the Mameluke sword, and the NCOs have a sword. And so you can carry a sword around in, in your dress uniform specifically, but but also in camis when you're training with it. And you do all kinds of cool drill stuff. And I unfortunately don't own one right now. When I was staffing to see the year on recruiting, we were gonna get like this badass plaque with cross swords, but uh, I had already moved back to Hawaii. Marine Corps wanted to save money on their shipping, so I didn't get that, I just got the award, but whatever. I never actually got around to, that's weird. I should buy one. I should buy an NCO sword. They're pretty rad. You do all kinds of cool drill stuff with them and whatever. Anyway. I digress. So sword, swagger stick, you know, kind of weird, right? Like you can't walk and talk on the phone, but you can carry a sword, like a full legitimate sword and a swagger stick. Number one though, this is the one that I was talking about with context, right? So for Marines, this is totally normal. And for a lot of people, this would be totally normal. But if you take it out of context and you just think about like, well, I can't walk and talk on the phone and I can't, if I'm gonna drink water, I gotta stop walking or sit down, put the lid back on and then start walking. And you can't have your hands in your pockets because what else are pockets made for? Not your hands, obviously. And you can't do any of this interesting stuff. But what you can do, you can do, you can kill. Yeah, you can murder. Because when you go to war, you're in uniform. And so ironically, you can't walk and talk or walk and drink or hold hands or, or put your hands in your pockets, but you can murder. You can kill, you know, as long as it's directed, ordered, the mission. Self-defense, one of the seven deadly justifications of, of deadly force. Yeah, so if you take that out of context and you think like, man, you join the Marine Corps, you're no longer going to be able to walk and drink water, which by the way is not because of intelligence. Everyone in the comments of the last video talked about intelligence. Uh, no, we can dig into branches and intelligence later on, but it is because of professionalism. But you can't drink and walk, and you can't hold hands and walk, and you can't do all the other stuff and walk, but you can carry around a swagger stick, and you can kill the enemy in uniform. So if you take that out of context, I think that's pretty fucking funny. It's pretty fucking weird that you can't do that. Now, that being said, if you found this video, I didn't do this on the last one. So I'm Dave, the military millionaire. I help service members and vets achieve financial freedom so that when you get out of the military, whether you do four years or 40 years, you don't have to work again unless you want to. This is not a pitch for me to sell you some bullshit. Just, you know, hey, you're here, you're a service member. Whether you're interested in finances right now or just gung-ho, rah, rah, rah some point, you're gonna realize money actually does matter if you wanna stop working. It's not by any means the thing that matters most, but it matters. And at that point, you're gonna be glad that you found me, my channel, my community. So we've got over 60,000 people in a Facebook group, over 63,000, and I would encourage you to go join it. But better than that, for watching, thank you very much, by the way, go snag yourself a free, it's the PDF, but the free copy of my book, The No BS Guide to Military Life. And you just go to, well, honestly, davesfreedownload.com. Nah, I'll, I'll just drop a link down below to make sure it's the right link. So I'll drop a link in the comments and on the bottom of this video for you. And, uh, you know, go grab yourself a free PDF of the book. And then while you're there, you can check out all the socials that we have and connect on whatever your favorite platform is for all the free content, the podcast, the YouTube videos, and everything else. So while I'm making all these fun videos right now, most of what I do is videos on the VA loan, the thrift savings plan, financial independence, uh, investing, entrepreneurship, personal finance and helping service members and vets really get themselves set up for success. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then join your favorite platform. Thanks, have a great day. Thanks for watching. You've made it to the end of the video. If you got something valuable out of this, please consider smashing that like button, subscribing to the channel and checking the little bell for notifications so that you get to see more valuable content. Depending on what you're interested in, we've got a ton of other playlists on uh, you know, real estate investing, military advice, getting rich in the military, VA loans, you name it. And make sure you get plugged in in the community and the Facebook group and other platforms. Also, if you haven't done so yet and you've still got a lot of questions, especially if you're a younger service member, check out the No BS Guide to Military Life. This is everything I wish I'd known when I first joined the military and I wrote it to pass on so that other people don't have to say, God, I wish someone had told me that when I was younger. So. Hope you got something out of this. If you got ideas for other videos or questions, throw them in the comments. I definitely do reply to most everything that's in my comments. And I look forward to seeing you around the channel again. Have a great day.